Good morning, Zio here, and today we'll be talking about Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers, yeah, I know, that, that's, that's not something you hear often. Anyway, they have games, <laughs> right? You know, like the Batman series and stuff, and uh, the ones that we're going to be talking about, uh, like uh, Middle Earth's Nemesis system and things like that. So that's what we're talking about today, so grab yourself some coffee, sit back, relax, and uh, let's get into it, shall we? But yeah, um, the Nemesis system has been finally, after like, what is it? What year is this again? 21? Um, what, let me count. One, two, three, four, five. Five, five years. <laughs> I think it's been five years. Um, you know, public school system, not very good. Anyway, uh, <laughs> especially in the South. Yeah. So... <laughs> Uh, Warner Brothers Nemesis, uh, Nemesis, bleh, 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 bleh. Warner Brothers has finally patented their Nemesis system from, uh, the, the Middle Earth series. So, what is the, uh, the Nemesis system, you're probably asking yourself? Well, it's a system they set up where, you know, you go through and you've got to kill these, uh, orc generals and make your way up the ranks, right? And depending on how you go about doing things and do... Doing stuff pretty much changes everything. And if they kill you, they get promoted, get more of an army and all this other stuff that you have to contend to. And, you know, then they could also come back if you don't completely kill them, come back for revenge and all this other stuff, get demoted <clears throat> and, and and other things. So it's, it's an interesting system, right? The uh, problem is, of course, they have patented it. So, um, yeah what was it 2014 so yeah in about five five years six years now six years okay yeah uh but yeah the patent is now under lock and key and other developers likely won't be able to put their own spin on the nemesis system without um scrutiny from warner brothers itself which is probably true um but apparently people on the twatter were pretty upset rightfully so uh, whenever a company a large company makes a patent like this especially a broad patent for this particular system you know uh, it, it really stifles the creation of the industry but uh, you know we've got some words from Kate Ma Kat Manning here who uh, tweeted that the patent is so broad that I'm still worried that it's a license to stop any similar work from being developed and that's probably true and this isn't the first time we've seen patents like this. Um, you know, there there have been other companies trying to patent different things, th different systems, but at the same time, they haven't actually been able to secure it. And we've had innovations on those systems and stuff uh, as, as a result. Way, way, way back in the day, I can't remember who it was, but somebody patented the ability to, um, what they had done was uh, during the loading screens, right? And this was back when with very long loading screens. Uh, you know, people today sit there and say that 15 seconds is a very long loading screen. Wait until you're pushing over a minute for one. Um, from back in the day, when we had to walk uphill barefooted, uh, both ways in the snow just to get to school, you know, that sort of thing. Anyway, there was a patent for a loading screen thing where you could play, essentially they had put a mini game in the loading screen so you could do something while the game was still loading and um you know they patent that and ever since then i don't think it's ever been used since very rarely if anything I, i've not really heard or, or seen really anything like that ever done in a very long time you know sometimes we get some things like a uh, fantasy star online too it, it, when it goes into its loading screen you can move the little thingy around and you know that's cool i guess and some other things where you can move a little something here and there but not an actual straight up like arcade mini game you know that you can play in the middle of transitions between spots and uh you know i, I think patents like that are very very bad for the industry uh you know it stifles creation because if it wasn't for that patent then everybody could have enjoyed things like that during their their load time huh anyway but yeah now nobody's going to be able to do anything with this except for Warner Brothers or this system or anything like this system, unfortunately. 
But uh, yeah, this is where I just sort of highlighted what the system was. <laughs> but um, oh, I'm sorry. It, it I guess it has been like more four years or something. They've been uh, uh, chasing for the patents approval since 2016. My bad. But um, yeah. I don't really have a whole lot more to say other than they've done this thing and um, this is bad. Uh, it's like if Rift had uh, patented the Rift system, <laughs> because we've seen this happen before, right? Well, I want to talk about innovation for a second. Um, you know, games have taken things from other games and they innovate on those systems, put their own spins to it or this, that, and the other. And we see it a lot in the MMO world, right? You know, I don't know how many times we saw the WoW killer come out and then it didn't kill WoW, <laughs> right? It's been left in the dust for various reasons. Um, but yeah, we've seen WoW, for instance, World of Warcraft, if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, actually use those systems themselves after the fact. Uh, whether it's from an add-on that was developed, like a, what was it, like Quest Helper or something like that, Quest Tracker. can't remember exactly what the old add-on was called, but it's now streamlined into the game, right? Uh, you know, it, it's, it's a streamlined feature that is actually in the game that you no longer need said add-on for. Um, but then you had, say, Rift come out, and Rift did the whole you're not in Azeroth anymore play, and, um, you know, Rift isn't that bad of game. I have no idea what was going on story-wise because I didn't pay attention, but um, I did enjoy Rift and its soul system and its interchanging the souls and stuff. Uh, probably the most fun I ever had playing as a bard before. Um, but yeah, you know, it, it had some interesting systems and its most notable system was the Rift system. And then um, ESO adopted a similar system, except for, you know, its anchor points, you know, are in the same spot they just don't randomly spawn uh and then you had world of warcraft who also adopted the system and put their own spin with it and that's what we call world quests these days randomly generated quests that appear in the area it's no different than the rift system when a rift opens up and you have a randomly generated event happening in that spot right uh you know wow has essentially adopted that system and innovated on it um but yeah <laughs> you know, if something like that had been patented, then it would be a different story. WoW would probably still be using dailies and would have its own daily island or something that everybody's constantly in. And you can't find anything, can't do anything because all the stuff are killed because every other person in the realm or the server is right there at the same time trying to kill the same dang mobs, you know, 50 times. Uh, the world's... Uh, the world quest system is a much better system because even if you do run into that, you can go pop over and do a different one and come back later when it's less, um, you know, full. <laughs> so essentially they have innovated on their systems as a result. But, you know, when you get patents like this, it makes it really hard for other industry or for other companies to actually innovate on it. They're afraid to try and innovate on it because even if they do put enough of a spin on it, because they have the patent and it's so broad, they can still come after them for it because it's not the same thing as, say, copyright, right? Copyright, right? Anyway, you know, it's it's a patent. And it doesn't mean that they'll actually win a legal uh, suit either with that patent because, you know, maybe they do put their own spin on it and, you know, a judge deems it to be worthy of its own thing separate from the patent. You know, uh, for one, an indie group could not handle that lawsuit to begin with, more than likely. Um, and it would take somebody like an industry giant to actually go after it, of course. Like, for instance, Blizzard or EA or Epic or, or somebody like that to even attempt to um, innovate on the system to begin with. Because, uh, you know, if Warner Brothers wants to directly enforce this... You know, they, they can come at it. Um, meanwhile, you have other companies who have had patents similar to this. Like, I think Bioware has a patent. I can't remember what it was for. But they don't strictly enforce it that much. They just sort of let it be. Um, but yeah. I just, I hate things like this. Patents, this, this whole thing. Anyway, um, yeah. 
that's it. That's all I got. Uh, you know, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so. Like the video if you like it. Dislike it if you dislike it. And all that good jazz. And um, I will see you in the next one. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, smash that like button, and always subscribe for more. And of course, there are other videos floating around somewhere on the screen. So click one of those and see if you can find something that uh, suits your fancy. Till then, I'll see you later. Bye.